Hey guys, here at Chico Bunny here. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about Las Vegas Akimatsuri 2013. Now normally, I would put up a video of our performance from this event. However, that's not going to be happening, and I'm about to tell you all why. <laughs> okay, so I'll start with the performance because that's mainly why we go to this event. Um, so this year, we were cosplaying from Love Live School Idol Project. I was Honoka, and Marie Halleck was Kotori, and we chose outfits from the opening sequence. Um, and they're plaid and ruffly and lacy, and they're really cute. Um, and we had been working for weeks really hard on our costumes and, you know, practicing the dance, you know, trying to stay in sync with each other. And that all just kind of went out the door when we had to perform at the event. Um, there was multiple audio issues. Um, I put our music in multiple formats on a couple different CDs to, you know, try and counteract the possibility of there being an issue, um, but the sound guy still, um, I don't know what happened. I'm not really sure if he knew what he was doing because, um, he restarted our song, like, three or four times, and I couldn't really figure out why. I was like, okay, you know, so each time he would just restart or, re you know, be like, okay, we'll just restart from the beginning. Like, it, it was just weird, so I was like, okay, we'll just go with it, you know, we'll keep trying. And about the third or fourth time, finally, we got um, about three quarters or maybe about halfway through our song, and then um, he stopped it completely, and we looked over like, you know, what are you doing? Like, he just, you know, hit play and let us finish our thing. Like, we're almost done, finally. Um, but he never did, and then the audience thought maybe it was over, so they started clapping, and then we just bowed and went off stage. And meanwhile, in that craziness, um, my clip-on part of my wig came off, and so that was fun. Um, and it, it was just like everything that could have went wrong with our skit did, and that was really, really disappointing because that's not how we had been planning or practicing it at all. But during this whole catastrophe of a performance, we had smiles on our faces and we stayed cheerful and in character and, you know, we didn't let it show that we were getting flustered. Except for me about when he stopped the song, like when we were almost done, I was a little irritated <laughs> to say the least. Um, but, you know, it, it was what it was, you know, I mean, I really couldn't do anything about it and um, so yeah, when we got off stage, then they started a new portion that they added this year, which was audience voting. Um, so we went around with a little foam board waving and smiling at people to ask them to put our sticker on our board, you know, to vote for us as audience choice. We ended up getting runner-up for that. A um, male Princess Peach crossplayer uh, won that, and his dress was awesome, and I totally didn't know it was a guy until he spoke, so good job to him. And then after that, they started announcing all the awards you had um, runner-up walk-on and best walk-on and runner-up skit and best skit and you know we were really disappointed because we didn't get to perform the way we wanted to and so we figured oh shoot you know we're way out of the possibility of getting any award and so I mean we were pretty much on the verge of tears just so upset that because, I mean, you put in weeks of time into your outfit and your dancing to have it go so wrong is really quite disappointing. Um, but quite the opposite did end up happening. They get to the part where they're announcing Best in Show, and we won. We won Best in Show. I still cannot believe it, and I, you guys can see, I, I would still like just beaming, like, talking about it, because for that all to have happened and for us to come out completely on top just it means the world to me because it's like I mean we were, I started crying when they called our number and our names because I was just like blown. I was like man you know we just went through basically hell and then have us like win best in show which is the biggest award we've won yet is absolutely amazing so that was really really cool <laughs> Um, our prize was uh, two tickets to go see any Cirque show of our choice, Cirque du Soleil. So um, we have until like now through next fall sometime. So Marie Hellick and I will have a fun girls night out in the town, go see a show and whatnot. So that was really cool. Um, it was a great experience. Um, what happened, I think why we won Best in Show, not only did we persevere, through our technical problems, but the judges came up and asked us about our costumes because originally for the skit category, they didn't care about craftsmanship judging, or so we were told. And so they approached us and asked us, like, you know, did you make a costume and why didn't you come to craftsmanship judging? And then I told them, well, they said we didn't have to, and they're like, oh, for crying out loud. So we just talked about our costume to them for a little bit, and they 
they were impressed and we ended up winning best in show. I just, I, 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 it's awesome guys. I just can't even, oh, it's so exciting. So like I said, I would normally have a video up for you guys. We, my mom did record it, but I am extremely embarrassed. <laughs> to post it. Um, so instead what's going to happen is Marie Hellick and I are going to get back in our costumes and re-record the dance somewhere um, the way it was supposed to be. And so I think we're going to be wearing them to Anime Vegas, which is in a couple weeks. So that might get filmed there. I'm not quite sure. We'll have to see. Um, but I will have the video of that dance up for you guys because I really want you to see what it was supposed to be. So yeah, that was... I just... <laughs> I I just I'm so happy that we won Best in Show. I mean, I just oh my gosh! Like I said, I started tearing up. Like I was just like, oh thank you everyone. Like ah, it was so exciting. I was kind of you know it was just wow. Uh, but yeah, it was such a fun event. And then after all the performing and everything, then we went and hung out with a group of friends. You all know who you are. You're all awesome people. Um, yeah, it was so fun hanging out with everybody. And then um. After that, we, um, Marie Hollick and I, we tried takoyaki for the first time, and I loved it. It was so good. Normally, I'm not a huge octopus person, but I really like takoyaki. It's really good. I want more. Um, but yeah, so that was cool. Um, there was a lot of people that wanted pictures, as always, which is really exciting. Like, it's cool when people know who you are, because Love Live is a new anime. Um, but some people knew us from the anime. Other people just like, you guys are cute and want a picture, so that was cool. There's a lot of drunk guys that wanted pictures. <laughs> which got to be awkward at times, but um, yeah, it was cool, you know, I uh, I flirted with the drunk Japanese guy who was really cute, but the problem was is like he didn't speak any English. My Japanese is really not good, and I've been out of practice for like a year and a half, and so, but I, I did fairly well. It was funny though. <laughs> it was just like, oh, dang, well, all right, that, that you know, it was funny. Um, and then, Something else weird happened later in the day that like totally threw me off and that's probably been the weirdest experience I've ever had in cosplay. Um, this one older guy comes over to Marie and Marie Hollick. This is like, I don't know, like really close to the end of the day before we were going to leave and he comes over and the first thing he asks us is, are you guys Japanese? And we're like, no, like, do I look Japanese? So that's cool. Um, but you know, like I was like, no, like he's like, well, why are you dressed like this? And I was like, because I'm a cosplayer. And he's like, what is that? I was like, well, we were performing earlier. He's like, oh, well, okay, you know. And then he's like, what is this from? And so I tried to say, you know, like this is from anime Japanese animation. He didn't quite seem to understand that. And then he's like, well, why, why do you dress like this? You know. And I was like, or where do you? And I was like, this, these kinds of events, you know, like conventions and stuff. Like I was trying to explain him, like basically the entirety of what cosplay is and all that and I was like no like comic-con you know and he, he just didn't seem to understand at all and I thought maybe he's like um, not from here like he's never been exposed to something like that but I don't know it just I, I was very confused as to what his whole goal of talking to me was um, considering there was a lot of other cosplayers around I was like out of everybody why me you know um, <laughs> And then he proceeds to ask, like, you know, do you get paid for this? And I was like, no, you know, this takes all my own time and money. Um, and he's like, well, what if I wanted to pay you to come to an event just like this? And I was like, well, you know, like, what do you mean? Like, because I was like, hey, you know, if you want me to come to a convention and cosplay and are going to pay me, cool. But um, that's not what it was at all. Um, he's like, well, how? what if I want to pay you to come and have dinner with me just like this? And I was like, excuse me? what <laughs> you know and I was like and then I processed and I was like is this guy like hitting on me like this is really weird so I was like no I'm not interested and he's like what do you mean you're not interested and I was like I said no I'm not interested get a clue but um no I stayed polite the whole time but I had to say it about three or four times for the dude to like leave me alone and after about that he's like okay never mind you know bye and then so I was like okay that was just really weird to me I've never been like asked like, I felt like I got treated a little bit like a prostitute. It made me upset. <laughs> I did not like that one bit. So, if you're ever at a convention, event, like, even if you're not in costume and somebody's harassing you, make sure you stick up for yourself. Otherwise, you could get taken advantage of. So, yeah. Just make sure you are firm and assertive. Um, but yeah. 
so that's it for this video guys hopefully you enjoyed hearing about my experiences um that video i don't know exactly when we're gonna film it but i will promise you absolutely for sure i'll be up before the end of the year because it's gonna get cold and those costumes are made for warmer weather so we're gonna have to film it soon and then um there are some pictures up on my Facebook. I'm still waiting on some people to um, upload pictures because I know we got like hundreds of pictures taken. So I know there's got to be more out there. Um, but yeah, so link to my Facebook page down in the description so you can check out some of our pictures. Um, if you were at Akimatsuri, let me know down in the comments. And if you're going to be going to Anime Vegas, let me know as well. Um, hopefully you all have a fabulous day. I will be uploading some song covers, dance covers, review type videos very soon. So until then, bye!